Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. Welcome to Drama Meter, where we break down all the explosive gossip and drama from the latest Vanderpump Rules reunion. Hold on to your seats as we dive into the heated confrontations, shocking revelations, and jaw-dropping moments you won't want to miss. Let's crank up the drama meter and get right into it. It's part two of the Vanderpump Rules reunion. Lala is still trying to understand things that have nothing to do with her, and Katie is just mad pretty much the whole time. First it was Lala coming at her, then the Sheena slash Schwartz make out gets brought up, and finally Joe comes out to try and speak her truth. That doesn't go so well, as Schwartz tries to gaslight Joe into thinking they were never a thing. James jumps in at the very end, proving that maybe he's the number one guy in the group. Things are going great for Lala and Katie so far. Not Lala is coming in hot, calling Katie out for acting differently off camera. Lala reminds Katie that she had a lot to say about Ariana when the cameras were down, but when Lala tried to bring it up while filming, Katie wouldn't bite. Katie claims she chose not to talk about it because she was over it and didn't want to make Ariana feel guilty. And she was certainly not resentful towards Ariana, as Lala insinuates. Schwartz points out that Katie was probably scared to not be hash team Ariana, but Ariana backs Katie by calling her 100% authentic. Ariana states that Katie is valid in her feelings, and Lala just misses the Katie who would also be a truth teller, delivering facts and having uncomfortable conversations. Lala felt like Katie was treating her like the enemy, but believes they will be back to being good friends even after this touchy conversation. When Andy points out that Katie looks p asterisk s said Lola retorts, well, that's standard. And also an easy way to have Katie remain angry with you, Lala. Because Katie was not mad enough, Andy decides to switch topics and bring up the make-out session between Sheena and Schwartz. To be clear, this happened years ago, during a time when Katie hated Sheena coming into the group. Sheena buried this secret because the last thing in the world she wanted was to hurt Katie. Schwartz apologizes to Sheena for coming on to her and for being a sloppy, drunken fool. If not for Sheena's repressed memory of the evening coming to light during glamping, this would have stayed quiet. Sheena stands by the fact that every guy in the group has hit on her. James denies it. Sanduval also denies it, however. Sheena's got a L.O.T. of details. Speaking of hookups, Katie's revenge bang with Max gets discussed. Schwartz claims to have manifested this so he could show the world he was a bigger person in this kind of situation, but you know it's killing him, since Max is his BFF. Katie plays coy when asked if she hooked up with Max a second time, so she did. The Lake Tahoe trip was not a Sandoval redemption trip, but rather a way to try to get the group together after the chaos of the past year. Schwartz gets questioned for calling Ariana, the queen of the group, and Ariana believes that Schwartz is the only person who thinks she has an ego. Just wait till she sees Lala go off about this on the finale episode. Ariana understands where Sheena was coming from this season as she struggled to be loyal to Ariana, but wanted to let Sandoval back in her life. Sheena desperately tries to show Ariana how much she means to her. Ariana's boundaries are a hot topic, and Andy points out that Lala had boundaries in 2022 about communicating with her ex, so why was everyone giving Ariana such a hard time? Lala says that the giant difference is that there was a child involved. Katie believes that Ariana is still allowed to have boundaries, but Lala doesn't understand how Ariana can sleep in the same house as him, yet claim boundaries, especially after having a new boyfriend, ten days later. Ariana reminds Lala that she supported her boundaries, and that Lala doesn't have to understand her boundaries, but rather respect them. The fan photo where Sheena has her arm around Sanduval gets brought up. Ariana admits that she was slightly uncomfortable, but not as uncomfortable as Sheena, 
was when Ariana didn't tell her she was going to be on Dancing with the Stars Sheena's dream position. Ariana says she remained tight-lipped because of production, and she was afraid that if she told Sheena, she may have been over he.